All right, Patrick, what do you get? Um, I chose, you know, every year around this time, you see these lists in the papers and online of all the things mm. you should do in Chicago in the summertime. <laughs> and, you know, it's a lot yeah. of the same things. And I, yeah. And, but I, my list was the most overrated summer activities uh -huh. in Chicago. The first one, I think, is a pretty easy one, is street festivals. It, yeah, you know, first off, we used to have one in my neighborhood, and they wanted to charge you $13 as a suggested donation. I'm not paying, you know how much I pay in property taxes in this city? <laughs> now I'm going to spend a suggested donation of $14 to just go on some street and drink $9 beers? It's not happening. There's nope. too many people. God love them. It's the same seven cover bands at every <laughs> one of these street yeah. festivals. All and Dave Matthews. All, they're all <laughs> Dave Matthews, man. And God love them, but they're overrated. Next up, and we touched on this a little bit a while yeah. ago, kayaking in the Chicago River. I don't know how much time, I did this a couple of years ago. You did? Photojournalist Mike D'Angelo and I thought it would be a fun thing to do to yeah. do a guy's day yeah. and go and kayak the Chicago what? River. I don't know how much time you've spent in the Chicago River. It's not the cleanest no. body of water. No, no, it's not. Especially where you pick it up. We picked it up at the North Branch near North Avenue. And I'm just going to say this. Ooh. And I don't know how delicately to put this. The amount of prophylactics that I saw oh, in no. the Chicago River was enough to gross me out. The whole th entire trip lasted about, we turned around after about 30 minutes and that was it. Yeah. No kayaking ever again. All right. Next one, spending a day at the beach. I mean, my God, you want to talk about the humanity of, of just being in the same tepid, warm water. <laughs> with 50,000 other people at the same time uh -huh. doing God knows what. No, thank you. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Uh, next up, drinking on a rooftop. <laughs> Everybody's got to be on a rooftop yeah. in the summer. You know what the difference is between drinking a beer at a bar on the ground and drinking a beer at a bar about 20 stories up? about eleven dollars yeah. that's the difference because yeah. the views are not that great there are a handful of them that have great views right. but really all you're looking at is other people on other rooftops yeah. i'm okay yeah. i'm all right i got a backyard now that's where i drink yeah similar to that eating outside very overrated. I agree. You got a couple of really, really yeah. nice um, outdoor gardens to eat at in the city. A lot of restaurants have Piccolo Sonio That's has a beautiful yeah. garden. Uh, but a lot of times, you're just on a sidewalk breathing in <laughs> truck exhaust yeah. while you're eating calamari. Right. It's really not that enjoyable of an experience. No, it is it's not. loud, it's, yeah. it's gross, yeah. it's dirty. Yeah. I can take it or leave it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one, God love it, but these farmer's markets. Oh. I'm all for supporting, uh, you know, uh, local uh, independent uh, businesses, and it's all it's all great, but I, I also do have a threshold, and spending $11 on green onions is <laughs> where I have that threshold when I can go to Jewel and buy them for $2.99, right. because guess what? There are farmers supplying Jewel, too. Yeah. So those are my list of some wow. of the more overrated activities of the summer. To all of you out there who enjoy those activities, God love you. Go with God. Uh, but for me personally. And can people email you directly yeah. if they want to complain about that? Oh, or sure. Just they, text yeah. Believe yeah. me, they know where to find me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Patrick. You got it. Yeah. A lot of man buns will be protesting outside your condo today. <laughs>